All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. And Tilbra. And today we are going to be watching Daredevil Season 1, Episode 4. So last episode we left off, and you think that we saw the villain. The one that, the, like, the mysterious boss man. That's what I That's what I believe. It felt like he, he was... I mean, he's got to be up there as far as, like, the villains in the show. At it's least definitely that's somebody we've never thinking. seen before. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, so... Possibly see more of that guy or not. We got Karen going to the news. Yeah. And then we got, you know, Matt and, and you know, Daredevil, I guess. Both kind of in the thick of it. Like, Matt finally realized that there's a bigger picture here. Yeah. So, we'll see how all that goes. As always, though, full-length reaction is going to be up on the Patreon. Next week's reaction, episode 5, is also going to be up on our Patreon. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, it is super, super cheap. Um, and it does really support us. Helps us keep doing what we're doing. Obviously, you don't have to, but um, we'd love if you could. Really, just thank you for being here on YouTube. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, welcome. Hopefully you stick around, like it, subscribe. We would love to have you. And let's just get into Daredevil Season 1, Episode 4. But first, a word from our sponsors, Grady's Cold Brew. The world of coffee is scary. I mean, to start, every coffee drink has some crazy European name, and there are so many questions. Is it breve? Is it not breve? Iced coffee or cold brew? Which milk substitute is the healthiest? Oh, what shape do I want on my latte art? What does venti even mean? What? And that's where Grady's Cold Brew comes in. Grady's Cold Brew offers premium quality cold brew coffee delivered right to your door. Order their cold brew kit and brew up to 36 cups of their famous New Orleans style cold brew coffee for just a fraction of the price of your local coffee shop. And no special equipment required, just add water to the pouch and dispense directly from your fridge. No more waiting in lines for your perfect cup of cold brew. And of course, flavors. If you're any sort of coffee drinker, you love flavors. Try the New Orleans style, French vanilla, or even Coco Mocha cold brew if you need to mix it up. So stop wasting your time watching this ad or sleeping in and get caffeine. Go visit the website Grady'sColdBrew.com and get 20% off your first order by using the code White Noise Reacts at checkout. Now back to the video. Something to do with the gangs and stuff, right? Yeah. Who is this? Oh, are these the two brothers of the gang, you know? I think it is. Yeah. Hey. They're gonna like break out. Even then, that's hardcore. Oh, jeez. Hey, you gotta leave the country. Ooh. Okay. That was so cool. That's such a cool way to tie it, like to give us an idea of these guys' mindset. Bro, you're so screwed. <laughs> Give me John Wick vibes. <laughs> Back at it. <laughs> They're sort of the enemy is going to kind of like deal with him, you know? I mean, because he's he's obviously causing a lot of issues. I feel like. You know. Well, so I feel like somehow they have to up their game, and I don't really know how. Like they've been trying to like bait him and trap him, and I feel like somehow they're gonna up their game. When you threw off the roof at my place, he's in a coma. Get off! Kill my cats. No, that stinks. I really need to get some kind of body armor or something. Slow me down. Too. So full of <laughs> bullet. You worried about? Yeah, she's got a point. We're just overtime damage, right? Like, yeah, you know, I can't imagine you're 100 percent a night after this. Exactly. <laughs> and you're not gonna be dodging everything. You know, you're gonna get hit. Maybe I just like the sound of your voice. Hmm. So what happens the night you come by? I'm already talking to someone else. Yeah. <clears throat> you cross them. Um, you shouldn't have. <laughs> I like their dynamic. Burners for me. 
Memorize the number, previous it. Next time we need to compile. You ever heard the name Wilson Fisk? No. That's probably the point. Just a name somebody gave me. There's no public record. One mention of Fisk. Maybe oh, whoever gave you his name was lying. Would have known. Oh, that's and that's a little weird. Apply enough pressure, someone will break. Sooner or later. Yeah. I mean, that goes at what you risk, though? Yeah. Too right. Like he does feel a little bit like a little reckless, kind of. It is a little reckless because he um, is so low. It's it's. I think it's that kind of same uh, approach that his dad had, right? It's like a little yeah. bit, a little reckless. He's not. Heard worse. I know how much your people delight in extolling the amount of pain they can endure, but <laughs> next time you try ducking. <laughs> oh, jeez. Your distribution infrastructure just doubled. Mm. Mm-hmm. There was a complication. One year sure as you were dressed. Do you know what the Bro, was? they're getting targeted by a superhero. I kinda side with these guys. I can sign. It should be. He was asking about your employer. Uh oh. <laughs> Madam Gao and Mr. Noble have expressed their disappointment. Mm. That's because we've been talking behind your back. <laughs> I look how straight up this guy is. I mean, if you had an iron suit or a magic hammer, maybe that would explain why you keep getting your asses handed to you. But tell Mr. Fisk <laughs> that if he wants a pound of flesh, he can come here and cut it himself. Oh, dude. I have dude. Heard... <laughs> this is an offer. Not an order. The choice of how we proceed is yours. I wonder why. Because he doesn't. Uh, yeah, he's got a point. You say here, rent us out to you in your apartment. And the man in a blind mask saved your life. Yeah. There are some holes in the well, story. And you've never seen it before. But, I mean, there should be some rumors circulating, right? We heard. Probably, a bit. but dep- I feel like it would depend on what circle you're in. You believe that he just, just up and hung himself in jail? That guard tried to do the same thing to me. Why, why don't you ask him? Fern? Dead. Yeah, he's gone. Ate the barrel of his gun in his basement. Yeah, but that proves oh, a point. Exactly, like, dude. Overdosed on pills or some such. Yeah, yeah it's so a little what? sus. See a pattern in his face. So they just shuffle some papers and all this disappears. They killed like seven people and all this disappears. A construction company is brick and mortar, little cranes and trailers and office equipment like you can numbers on a page. Whatever happened to that, reporter Mr. Yurik? You got old. And a hell of a lot less stupid. So what's up with her past? I'm not sure. I don't think. Did we get anything? I don't think we heard anything like that before. Well, and he references it as far as like credible sources, right? Yeah, so, so I wonder. Like... Like... <laughs> like, what is he gonna say? Oh, jeez. So much. I don't know. Anatoly Vladimir. Will he even remember? Like, maybe. Come on, dude, don't remember anything. Shoot! Oh, no. oh, oh shoot! No. This poor kid. Of course. Anatoly, maybe the way He seems more amenable to the problem. So this seems to be him. Quite as vitriolic as his brother. You see him at the car. So I need to attend to this moment. Huh, okay, what's going on? Yeah, that's a switch up. Oh, is this the place? Yeah, it looks like it. Gallery? Yeah. 
or another one at least. How are you enjoying rabbiting a snowstorm? You remember? Of course. That's either very romantic or very sad. <laughs> yes, I was actually wondering if you could to join me for dinner. I'm the only one working here tonight. Another <laughs> time. Mm -hmm. He's so awkward. He is kind of awkward. That's interesting. Yeah. Offer to buy every painting in here so I can close up early. The guy actually tried that. <laughs> Did you just give him an idea? <laughs> Would that work? A woman can be bought. Is it worth having? I'm partial to Italian. <laughs> we agree on more than art. <laughs> this is very interesting. I like how that was done. Like, he was really awkward. He was. An actual office would involve plantery and equipments, fax machines, or whatever successful people use. Well, that's what you get for doing pro bono work. How would I know? Which is endemic to the problem. <laughs> Ruth Landon's act was the way to go. You hated Indian men. I had been broke. I mean, that's true, dude. Like. But they had free bagels every morning. I feel like he's given up early, though. Cigarettes. And elevators. God, I miss the elevators. We're doing good here, Paul. Are we? Yeah, we're making a difference. I don't know if he's given up early, because, I mean, like, you know, I feel like he wouldn't give up so early. Girl, isn't it? You got a new phone just for your girls. <laughs> My life sucks. Get home safe. <laughs> kind of, but not really. <gasps> oh, oh, my gosh! Claire, can you hear me? Shoot, oh, that up. was really cool, though. Shoot! Shoot. Come on, dude. He can do that? I mean, he's a little bit of a superhero. <laughs> that is so cool. That's right. This is how you get caught. <laughs> How'd he look? Do you read? The woman in a white blouse. Eyes from Jesus. Yeah, stop. Come what on, the... bro. Man in the Navy blue pink strip suit. Who are they? Don't know. But they aren't bidding either. Huh. Yeah, it's, it's too weird that you wouldn't be bidding here. Yeah, you got How did you know I was here? Exactly. Okay, but that's the thing. If he, an investigative reporter, can find you, you think the mob yes, can? of course. Not to mention with that much money involved, yes. right? Yes. It's, it's fine, bro. It's fine. Just tell us what you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is kind of Matt's fault. It is, no, it is, it is. That is, that is taxi. There we go. go, bro. You're in. I love how, with all the hype, this is how we're introduced. Yeah, to Wilson Fisk. Delicious. I don't know much about wine. Really? I actually thought you would have. Maybe I should be out with him. <laughs> that was a joke. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, like, will he un get those? You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta kinda watch out. I realized that the city was a part of me, that it was in my blood. To a better place. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Everyone is happy. That's how it's bad. No, yes. She actually she doesn't. She actually doesn't, right? Oh, poor girl. She never told me. It's okay. A job to do, so please answer the questions that I was told to ask. At a certain point, you have to know she doesn't know, right? Breaking a piece at a time. Well, I mean, I. Oh! Let me answer it! Let's go! 
Oh, you're done, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know his name? Ask him yourself. <laughs> That's such a great line. Uh-oh, watch out. Oh! This is such a cool sequence. Yeah, get down, Claire. <laughs> I like how we can't see where he is. Like yeah. normally they always show you the hero and then they can't see. We don't know where he is. Be careful, be careful. Oh! Oh shoot. There we go. Yeah, dude. Are you walking out of here? No, you are. <laughs> Did you just see him take out your entire crew? Oh, Claire. It's okay. Yeah, but now they know her, like. Yeah. And that confirms that she he, he knows her, you know, and it's yeah. that's not good. I said you should move on. Didn't say anything about me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. Fish the guy that took me off. Out of that same river a month later. Whoa. Yikes. I'm trying to clean up the teachers union. I moved out of state. They underestimated what people in power will do to stay there. And yeah. these people are the most powerful. We need to be smart. Smarter than they are. Don't visit me at the office anymore. And don't tell anyone else about the first thing. Sign the agreement. Oh, that's smart. No, that's smart. She already yeah, said but... what she needs to. Then she leaves it. Yeah, it's yes, you perfect, told him and then you yeah. walk away. And it's the best cover you can give after having been at that auction. Man. Yeah, and you need to have it. Oh, shoot. What are they gonna do? Like, a. Piotr is like. Dude, I feel bad for these guys. Why are you guys making a deal with... I mean, I get it, but... They have an incredible super in glaze. <laughs> don't children have that at birthday parties? Yes. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I never had that at my parties. <laughs> so we get caught up in what we're doing. Who we think we are. So... He's so, like, philosophical. Who are you, Winston? Tonight, I'm just a man. I'm joined the company of a captivating woman. Sir. I need to speak with you. What is it? Whoa. What? We need to go. Now. I'm sorry. Shoot. I promise you won't get mad. I love how like half the restaurant stood up. Like it was like he planted those people. Yeah. Um, but the rest of the stuff's coming tomorrow. The rest? Yeah, like a printer and conference phones and a copier. Oh. Yeah, oh, bro. No. It sucks because he has no idea about anything. Uh, I know he's, he's getting like, screwed by Daredevil, Karen. <laughs> I ever tell you my mom wanted me to be a butcher? <laughs> oh, no. Here we go again. You know what I told her? <laughs> I'm going to be a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> and you almost got killed. Because me. Tell me it was worth it. An end game? Anything? Yeah, but you are poking the bear. Kind you're poking of. the bear, and you're trying to ignore the fact that there is a bear. Yeah. No matter what I do, just I'm making things worse. Because there's a bigger system. But the problem is, is like, what are you supposed to do, right? Like, you're just gonna ignore all those people that are being. Feel my heart. Come on, feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Because I am. More than I've ever been in my life. And I am not alone. For all of us, Mike. <laughs> this is awesome. Matthew. My name is Matthew. This is 
something different about you. Not so sure it's a good thing now. <laughs> yeah. I talked to you this much. And I'm sorry that our night it went sideways. It wasn't sideways, it was she found out more about you, dude. I enjoyed our time together very much, Vanessa. Don't know how I feel. That's rough. Yeah, it is rough. That, that, like, now what? <laughs> Look, I, I wanted to uh, speak with him in person. Yeah, but well, dude, that's a little, like, what? Put the path behind us. Yeah, but you, they clearly don't like him being, like, seen and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Wow, I'm surprised he's doing it himself. What the heck? He's big, man. Ooh, dang. Dude, he's like unhinged. What's left of him is sent to his brother. <laughs> He'll start a war. I'll count on it. <laughs> Dang. Like all good wars, it's over a woman, I guess. <laughs> yep. I don't know what to say. Yeah, what do you think? The bad guy is... While I expected some sort of, like, unstable nature... It's weird. He is very different from what I expected. Yes. Like, his whole... His, his, this, his size, you know, paired up with his awkward kind of, like, personality when dealing with that, that lady... And he's, like, weirdly so... gentle with her. Yeah. And genuine. And sensitive. <laughs> yeah. But that goes, you know, hand in hand with, I feel like, his outburst, you know? Yeah. It's almost like, well, I mean, because we also have context. We know kind of what he's capable of. Yeah. You know, because of that he is, you know, the man in charge. Yeah. And so for him to kind of, like, be this kind of, like, awkward, a little more timid type of person, it's almost like he he just feels already just like unstable right yeah in a way yeah because it's like bro i know what you can do but you're acting yeah like he's this? cutting dude's head off with a car door yeah so clearly <laughs> he you know he's a little he's prone to certain outbursts which i feel like she picked up on i feel like that's why she was like uh red flags no. yeah it's interesting though. I'm what like I wonder is there any like let's say they did get into a relationship. Yeah. Like would he uh, would he be a good partner? Like I'm not sure. <laughs> like maybe. I guess. Cuz it's not like cuz my whole idea was that like okay, she's not going to be with him then he's going to, you know, Go on a rampage there, right? It's like oh, like oh, against her, yeah. Like okay, okay, nothing's okay. going or it's not going my way, so yeah. I'm going to do something about it. But it's not that he did that; he took it out on someone else because they messed up his dinner image, almost. Yeah, yeah. So I'm. It leads me to think that like he wants to lead like a normal life or something like that, and so he wouldn't do anything to try to endanger kind of like what he wants. You know yeah, possibly. I mean, even the way he was talking about he wants to make Hell's Kitchen a better place. Yeah. Like, I wonder um, if that was genuine, if not, and if that's kind of revealing to his character or his mode or how he sees himself anyway. Yeah, I'm just wondering. Like, he probably would be a decent partner. I don't know if it'd be like one of those things where it's like, oh, I secretly, you know. I mean, until the first time you get in a fight and then it's like, oh. Yeah, but even then, then I don't think, I don't think that he would go off. It's true. Because otherwise I feel like he would have gone off then. Like 
you know, what connection did he really have with her? And the whole idea of like him saying that, okay, if you truly don't have any interest in me, you won't see from me again. Yeah. I feel like that was genuine. No, I and the too. fact that he said that, it makes me think that like there's some sort of like, I don't know, like actual connection there connection or just desire to be normal or good or something like that but like yeah i don't know about good but i think that normal anyway well i mean yeah normal but you could say good as in like an attempt to be what good quote unquote is you know but that does not doesn't necessarily mean that you are good you know what i'm saying yeah yeah, yeah. i i get what you're saying though there's something there it's which makes like, it really really interesting I mean, because it's one of those things where, like, you can have important things, but you can still be a bad person. Yeah. Right? I mean, that's with, like, a lot of people, even, like, with, of course. you know, terrible people. They could have family. I mean, look at, look at look at any mob, right? Look, yeah. look at The Godfather. Like, it's all about family and family yeah. values. And then it's like, oh, murder Tony. But, like, they would never... It's not one of those things where they would be like, oh, you know, I would kill my family. Like, no, it's, no. It's, like, almost like, no, they're... They almost want to separate themselves, like their dark self, from well, their family. Well, they think of themselves as a good person because they're a family person yeah. or whatever. And yeah, you're right, you're right. You're picking it's up on something with him. Almost more intense with him, though. You know, even more than like The Godfather where it's like, oh, we have our family and our business. This, it almost seems like... It feels mental or something. Yeah, it does a like little bit because it was like, so intense. It's like, you messed up this girl that I like a lot. And it's like, whoa. But I, I you're right. It, it It's such a great way of introducing his character because it just makes you uneasy around him constantly now where it was like we see it we hear all these things and then most of the time we spend with him this entire episode he's on a date being awkward yeah and like you're kind of rooting for him being like oh shoot that sucks like so he doesn't want to go out with you and then it's just he goes off and cuts this dude's head off in just like brutal brutal savagery yeah and it's such a good way of actually introducing no yeah like, and oh here's our villain and you're like whoa that's such an interesting way of doing that yeah and it totally it just sets like the kind of like you know the standard for like oh okay like he's gonna be you know his what he could do is like that you know what i'm saying like yeah it'll always be that sort of like fear of like no you know he can resort to that yeah. sort of thing you know and even just the cliche breaking of of because you know there's always a lot of villains like this and it's like oh he listens to classical music and drinks wine like yeah the little detail of him not knowing anything about wine and talking to his assistant yeah i like that because it makes it not oh cliche he's like oh i don't know anything about wine and i was like oh that's kind of cool i like that yeah because that's why he's not your like he's not cliche villain, villain. he's just a yeah. good character it's um, interesting. Yeah, and so then we got Matt. We got Matt potentially looking to do greater things. I, I really liked that kind of pep talk that Claire gave him. Yeah. I mean, I I feel like the if he does want to make Hell's Kitchen a better place or at least like take care of some of the garbage going around, like you got to kind of figure out where the trash is coming from you know you can't be because if you just keep taking out foot soldiers he's totally right they're just going to keep getting replaced like 100 percent. and like yeah i don't you know i i don't think taking out the foot soldiers is wrong like clearly you've been doing good you know but i feel like once especially once you start causing issues for other people like you start endangering other people's lives you can't just look at it as like a you know a part-time hero thing it's like (laughs) No, bro. Yeah. Now, like, if this is a bigger thing. Like, you, you're not, you know, involving your own life. You're involving other people's lives. Like, you gotta, we gotta actually stop this. I feel like Claire too was like, make it worth it, almost. Yeah, like, that's almost the impression I was getting. Where she's like, "Look, I am afraid. I'm terrified, but you're here, so do something, bro. Like, I'm already scared. I already got kidnapped. You're already in this. Make it worth it." Tell me, like, it's like you were saying, tell yeah. me you have a plan. Like, tell me that there's a bigger piece to this and you have it all figured out. So I'm curious to see. I feel like that was kind of the completion of the seed of an idea that was kind of planted in his head last episode. So it's going to be really interesting to see how he implements mm-hmm. strategy or whatever. Just going about the daredevil. Because he still is, like, it's it's cool because we didn't see the origin. But he still is, I feel like, new to this whole daredevil thing. Well, yeah. And so you see him growing as the daredevil and kind of what his mission is, I feel like. Yeah, because I feel like 
while he is a hero, he's not like a hero hero. He's like a vigilante hero where like he doesn't like he'll take care of some of the the bad guys, you know, and anyone that he comes across that he, you know, he can help out. But like he's not going after the Thanos. He wasn't at least he wasn't, you know, he wasn't going after the Thanos. First. Yeah, and I low key feel like he might have done it to a little bit relieve some stress. <laughs> Yeah, like, you know, I mean, like that's what makes him interesting. Is he's he's not clean. I'm gonna be the hero and sacrifice. Yeah. Like not there yet. Anyway, it's it's. I feel like he got in for very kind of real, personal. Like yeah, maybe there's some horrible, disgusting people in the world, and I feel like you should suffer for that. No, yeah, for sure. I mean, he's he's vengeful almost. It gives you definitely some Batman, uh, the Batman vibes. Yeah, but yeah, he, I feel like he just he, he can't like halfway it. You know what I'm saying? No, like no, now I agree. he's got to like, go all in. He's got to go all in and go all in while Fisk is dealing with whatever war he just started. Yeah, that's also interesting. Like, why? I'm curious as to why exactly he wants war. Maybe he wants. I feel to... like that just shows how much he likes the girl. Like, I feel like he's like, sure, a war is going to start, and I don't really care. Interesting, but I mean, he is. Like, it made me think that there's like some other like. I mean, it may also be like they're just a pain in his butt, and he's like, okay, I'm angry. Let's stop being political. We're just going to annihilate you or take you or whatever. That's maybe, true. Right? Because they were causing him issues. The other brother. Other people issues Especially too. the other brother. The other brother didn't want to join him at all. Yeah. So it's like you figure you kill his brother through his head. He's like, okay, you're not going to want to side with me. So fine. Send the body to him. Just wage war. Let's get this over with. We're going to crush you. And then I'll just take over. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was causing issues for like the other... Yeah, the, the, the rest of the, the whatever kind of scheme they got going. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see. I don't know. It was a good good episode, though. Yeah, that was a good, um, good so introduction. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining us here. Thank you for watching. As always, full-length reaction is going to be up on the Patreon, as well as next week's reaction, episode 5. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And yeah, thank you for joining us here. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, welcome. Hopefully you stick around, like, and subscribe. We would love to have you. And yeah. Thank you for joining us here. Thank you for watching. If you do stick around, we will see you all in the next video.